you're going to create a set of these blocks dependent on your own design. So if you remember, we went through and we created these six shapes, and now we're going to pick three of them to stack in a way of your choosing. Okay, so for this example, I picked our little arc, our half circle and a circle. For the one we'll try now, we can pick any of those six and stack them in any way you'd like. So for this time, I think I'm going to pick the arch and then maybe one of the flat blocks and put the little half circle on top. So what we're going to start with is whichever shape you'd like to create, you still need to make a component first. So we're going to hit new component or create and then new component and hit OK. And then we're going to create a sketch. So if I want to make an arch, I'm going to make it e on one of the two vertical planes, either the right or the front. I'm going to pick the front, and let's say I make a two-point rectangle along the bottom here. Oop, we didn't change our units. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard to cancel the rectangle, and open our document settings, and edit our active units so that these are in inches, and hit OK. Then we're going to retry our rectangle click in the center and this is going to be three inches wide we're going to hit tab and that's going to be 1.5 inches tall okay but we still need the little curve cut out of this so I'm going to click on the circle tool and in the middle okay if you see these dotted lines those are the centers okay we only need the middle from left to right and then we'll click on this bottom line and this will be 1.5 inches and hit enter. Okay, we're going to finish our sketch, extrude the top portion of the shape to 1.5 inches. Okay, now we have one of our components. We need to click on the upper level and create new component to create a next one. So for this next one, when we create our sketch, this time I want it to be on top of my arch from before. So I can actually choose the top of this box for my new sketch plane. So I said I was going to pick one of our rectangles here. Let's say I want to pick this one and a half by four and a half by 0.75 rectangle and I'm going to lay it sideways. So I'm going to use our rectangle tool um, but we actually can use various, there are new, different kinds of rectangle tools. Since I want this to be centered, um, I can use a center rectangle. But if you don't want yours to be centered, that's okay. Use your regular two-point rectangle. Okay, but I'm going to make this in the center. And then if you see, it still gives you the same boxes to type in. So this one's going to be 4.5 by 1.5. Alright, we're going to finish our sketch. And then if we saw from our dimensions, we did our four and a half, we did our one and a half. So this other dimension needs to be 0 0.75. So if we extrude, we might have to choose multiple surfaces to get the whole rectangle. Then we choose, or we type in 0 0.75 and we hit enter. So, okay, now we have component number two. To make our third component, if we click again at the top upper level, we hit create new component, we hit okay. All right, and this time I want this to be facing the front. So I'm going to hit create and I'm going to click on our front plane. And to create it where I want it to be, where it's like laying on it, I'm going to create a circle since we're going to do the half circle shape. And I'm just going to make sure that it lines up approximately with the top of this other surface. For right now, it's okay if it's not exact. We'll talk about projecting the geometry a little later on. But for now, we're just going to make it close. We're going to type 1.5 for the size of the circle. And for good practice, we'll take a line and we're going to draw it across the edge here. For fusion right now, there are times where I'm going to hit escape. Um, where it will allow you to use the other lines from other objects from other components to cut things, but for right now, for good practice, um, it's good to have both. So then we're going to extrude, we're going to choose the just the top half of our circle, type 
and hit enter. All right, if you notice, we now have our three shapes. I'm gonna click on the top level of our browser and click that little button for activate components and then click somewhere out here and now we see everything. And that's it. <laughs> Just make sure to save. All right, this is activity 1.2.2 and then make sure you take a screenshot and send that in.